Welcome friends. It is summertime in Toronto, which means it's hot and humid. Uh, so I thought I'd do another ice cream recipe. And this one's really simple. It's a no cook lemon ice cream, three ingredients, super simple, really easy to make. So we start out with two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to put that into this big mixing bowl, scrape it all in, make sure I get everything. Cause I know some people don't like that I don't scrape all of the bowls. I do, usually off camera. Next is the lemon. And so first off, I'm gonna zest the lemons and I'm gonna use a microplane so that we get really fine gratings of lemon. Now, if you don't like the texture of that in your ice cream, I kinda really like it because it adds a lot of flavor. You can leave this step out. Um, you'll lose a bit of flavor out of the ice cream, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, now we need to juice the lemon. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. And this is the lemon juicer of choice that I use. We have the ones where you squeeze it. I never find that I get as much juice out of the lemons that way, or the limes for that matter. I find this just to be, even though it's just a simple, simple thing and it's not very sexy, I just find it to be the best way to get lemon juice. Okay, last one. Now, I've never measured how much lemon juice I'm putting in. I just always grab two lemons, and it seems to be lemony enough. Um, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could figure it out. And maybe I will, and I'll write it in the description for the recipe. But for the most part, I don't worry about it. Two lemons, I get enough lemon juice, I get enough lemon zest, and everything works fine. So, in with the lemon juice. And we just start to whisk that a little bit. Now this will start to curdle the cream right away, which is going to add a certain something to the ice cream in terms of texture and the way it feels in your mouth later when you eat it. So get that whisked in. Don't have to be too great with the whisking because you're gonna add next condensed milk. Now, the condensed milk is going to do a whole bunch of things, um, but mostly it's going to bring the amount of sugar that we need to the recipe and it's going to add, again, a nice, rich, dense, creamy consistency to the finished ice cream. So pour that in, whisking while it goes in. Okay, just scrape the last little bit out of the can. and then we'll finish whisking it together. Now, we're lucky enough to have one of these compressor type uh, ice cream makers. Definitely not something that you need. Um, it, this ice cream recipe works just as well with any of the ones where you've got the bowl, you put it in the freezer, either ones that hand crank or that you plug in and that has an electric crank, it doesn't matter. Now you're gonna notice, as soon as you start to pour this in, look how thick that's gotten. That's the lemon juice curdling the cream. And so you're gonna get just this amazing creamy ice cream out of this. So I'll finish scraping this in and we'll turn it on and just let it do its thing. Okay, so the ice cream maker is done and let's turn that off. That sound could drive me nuts. Now, at this point, what you have is something that is very much soft serve. And if you like soft serve, you can put this right out on the table right away, serve it right away. This is the kind of recipe that is super easy to make during a dinner party um, and wow your guests with an incredible dessert at the end. I like it just a little bit stiffer. So I'm gonna move it to another container and stick this in the freezer just to firm it up a bit. Woo, ice 
ice cream day. Lemon. Jules? Ah, always refreshing. So this is that that really simple three ingredient. Mmm. Mmm. A classic. It's so creamy, isn't it? Unbelievably creamy. So And so simple and mm -hmm. the lemon just mm -hmm. it's quite tart. It's tart, but it's also refreshing. Mm -hmm. Um this is a this is a recipe that we go to and come back to and come back to and come back to and come back to and make all the time. And the ingredients are simple enough that you you just it, it you can almost the ingredients are simple enough that you can take it somewhere and make it on site yeah. and share it with your friends. Yeah. You know, you don't have to make it ahead. There isn't like you don't have to it's not like making a custard. Mm -hmm. Please give this one a try. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.